Dave, this is Reagan Fire. She was in the seminar earlier today with WWE Hall of Famer Mick Foley. She's a product of the Pro Wrestling 2.0 Training School right here in Winter Park, Florida with Alex Porto and company. And she's going to get her first look here and rise against the Derby Dog. Well, a good opportunity. That's what the seminars are all about. Being discovered for uh, your talent on the independent wrestling scene, trying to rise through the ranks. And if she can pull out a win here against a veteran of the Rise Seminars in Derby Doll, Lane Rosario, it would do a lot for her. Quick roll up. And she almost did it just that quickly. Reagan Fire with a schoolgirl, but eats a forearm for her troubles. Now this seminar with Mick Foley earlier today, this, this wasn't like a lot of our seminars. It wasn't really focused on in-ring, a lot of stories, a lot of perspective. And this was something where in this seminar, day we saw like a new, like a vicious, passionate side of the Derby Doll Lane Rosario. And we're seeing that come out right here in front of us. Well, no doubt, Reagan Fire looking to uh, pull out a victory here. Obviously, impressing during the course of a seminar is one thing, but when it comes to actual in-ring competition, you got to score those victories if you want to work your way through the ranks. And the Derby Doll comes in with a little bit of a chip on her shoulder and a little bit of a spin of the airplane and a handful of hair, too. There's just that more of that viciousness, that just kind of that vile streak coming out of the Derby Doll. She's got to do whatever it takes to pull out that victory, whether it's hair pull, but could have spun around a few more times, take away her equilibrium a little bit more before dropping her down. See if Reagan can hang in there, though. Able to connect with that boot to the midsection. Derby Doll may be focusing a little too much on the aggression. Maybe, maybe is her mind divided a little bit? She definitely gave a little too much daylight there. And Reagan fired, though she's got the time and the space. She's there. She finally closed it. But it's can she take advantage of those little opportunities to overcome someone with much more ring experience than her? Trying to fire up right now. Landing a couple shots, but not doing much damage to the Derby Doll. Again, handful of hair gets a warning from the referee. Just trying to maintain control of the contest and drives Reagan face first into that turnbuckle. The Derby Doll now backing away. Is she giving her too much space? No, the time and space didn't matter there. They, usually that starts the Derby Doll's hip check party, but this time snaps her down, full head of steam and a knee to the face. Got all of it, hooks the leg. Only gets a near fall though. Thought for sure that was going to be the hip check party of the Derby Doll. Now might not be a hip check party, but it's a surfboard party. Trying to take away the energy of Reagan. Fire knee placed right into the back, pulling back on the arms. Trying to get out of this position, back on her feet and firing away. Forearm shot connects. But Lane gives it right back to her. Reagan Fire not giving up. She may be young, she may be lacking in experience, but she's certainly not lacking in heart. Or razzle dazzle on the neck breaker. Will that be enough? Going for the win. And she got her. Reagan Fire pulls out the victory.